All right, so uh, I did a couple of the videos about this window system. Um, I'm going to try and concentrate into one explanation with a little bit of thermal performance testing. Uh, this is a very specialized window we have facing the south here, what you see on the side of me. is uh, Each of these blocks are 16 by 16 and 4 inches thick, filled with water. Uh, outside of that, we have a very specific exterior glazing, a 1 inch insulated glazing that has a high solar heat gain. Uh, along with a low heat surface that gives you a U value of 0.29, which is pretty good. Uh, so we have, we have a glazing on the outside, then we have each of these blocks which are uh, filled with water. Uh, I'll show you one right here. This is one of the blocks right here. They're pretty heavy. They actually weigh 50 pounds per block. Um, they're filled with water and specific chemicals uh, to stop algae growth in the water. Uh, we, have, we have 85 blocks along the south side of this house. Um, the total water weight in this wall window system that faces south is about 3,000 pounds of water. Um, so what this is designed to do is capture and store the solar energy in your window. So it's a passive solar window that would let a lot of solar heat gain come into the house, which would overheat the space, which would be stored in the floor, which is a good thing. But you don't have a lot of control over it. Sometimes it's, very, it's unbearably hot, other times it's so bright you can't really see very well. So this tempers it down and actually captures the energy in the window. October 24th. Uh, we had a great sunny day. Uh, very cold last night. This morning we came in, it was 23 degrees outside. Uh, this house, this window system went down to 58 degrees, the water temperature in the window, which is the coldest we've experienced yet. We have no other heating system installed in the house yet. Uh, we still haven't completely insulated and sealed around the windows. So what I want to do is show you uh, our room temperature in the house uh, with, no, with no heat on is uh, 58 degrees, okay? Um, it's warming up as we talk. Uh, our regular window, this is a normal window, which is actually an energy style window, has a 0.31U uh, value. Um, and you can see that window's running about 60.9 degrees. And this is not the most accurate tool. Uh, then we put it at the solar window. that actually has all that water in there. That window stored, heated up from 59 degrees this morning to over 80 degrees right now. Um, it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, not quite 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and this will continue to warm up for the next couple of hours until the sun starts to set. And it will continue to radiate, you can actually feel the heat radiating off that window now. So what it does is it actually stores the thermal energy in the water in the window. Um, one pound of water raised one degree is a BTU of thermal energy. Uh, so we have 3,000 pounds of water, so every degree we raise that above the room temperature we want it to be in here, our BTUs of thermal energy stored in the window. So right now we're at least 10 degrees above where we would like the room to be. So we have 30,000 BTUs of thermal energy being stored in that window. Um, we've experienced temp high temperatures in this window as high as 104 degrees, when it was around 70 degrees outside, we had a good sunny day. Um, but the coldest it's gone down to at night, uh, with outside temperatures going down to the low 20s, uh, it was 58 degrees. Uh, so the north side of the house, uh, the outside temperature right now is 42 degrees. Uh, Alright, so one of the aspects I didn't tell you about was that one of the reasons this window will work so well is this house is designed to use very, very little energy. It's got a combination of insulations and uh, structural insulated panels and closed cell urethane foam and you know a whole series of things designed into the envelope of the house to keep the energy levels as low as possible. Uh, based on window area and things like that, as well as ventilation and heating systems. So our heat loss in this house, uh, it's a 2,000 square foot house um, in New England, southeastern Massachusetts. We have 6,000 heating degree days here. Um, based on the temperature of zero, uh, this house only loses 18,000 BTUs an hour, um, which is not our average temperature. We, if you took an average temperature, winter temperature around across the winter, you're going to have about 35 degrees being the average. At 35 degrees, we end up with uh, 8,000 uh, BTU heat loss per hour in this house in this envelope system. So when you look at 8,000 BTUs, we should be able to, with a good sunny day, um, store, if we can raise this temperature of this window up to 90 degrees, which we'll, we should be able to do on most good sunny days, uh, we'll be able to capture 75,000 BTUs of thermal energy in the window. Um, and at, if we're at 35 degrees outside and we have an 8,000 BTU heat loss, we have nine hours of thermal energy stored in that window that will radiate into this house. And uh, we'll see exactly how that performs because we're going to be doing some uh, monitoring of this. 
Uh, we're going to put a, a data logging system on here, which is going to monitor outdoor temperatures, indoor temperatures, and window temperatures. And then we'll be able to overlay that and show you exactly how the sun shed energy, the heat temperature outside, the temperature in the window, and temperature in the house, and how they reflect and, and, and relate to each other to give a better idea of how much thermal energy this thing is actually contributing to the, to the house over the course of the year. One thing you don't see on here, uh, the outside of this window, the, the part that really is, makes this not a passive solar system or an active solar system, is that it's going to have exterior shades, solar shades on the outside of the house that are going to be designed to drop down and, and block the solar heat gains in the, even in the spring and fall, uh, depending on the outside temperatures, inside temperatures, uh, and all, all summer long. Those, those are going to be mechanically uh, dropped down based on room thermostats. We're going to have room thermostats in here which we'll be able to set that will actually drop those solar shades and stop this space from overheating. So uh, that's kind of the system as a whole. Uh, so far the performance is, is doing some great things. Uh, we'll button the house up and we'll let you know how the, you know, the heat load is before we even start the heating system and see if we can get this house up and maintain temperatures uh, as, we, as we go to the later in the fall here. So uh, stay tuned. Right, so uh, it's, uh, what time we got? It's a four in the afternoon, uh, October 24th. Did a little testing earlier, I'm showing you the temperature of the wall. Um, uh, so we're going to show you what it looks like at the end of the day here. Uh, the sun's starting to go down, it's not really hitting the wall anymore. Okay, uh, we're at 88.8 degrees. So you can see that, 88.8 degrees. And uh, if we take our regular window, our normal window over here, we, we do a thermal test on that. Uh, that's showing 60.6 degrees. I'm going to show you what the outside temperatures are. So if I open up this window, we shoot the outside temps. We are at uh, 47.4 degrees outside. Uh, so what you can see is that this wall, of course, the day has captured uh, quite a bit of thermal energy. Uh, like I said, we're in the uh, 88 to uh, 90 degree, 89 degree range on the temperature of that wall. Uh, so that's you can actually feel the heat coming off of it right now. Um, it's it's doing quite a good job, and if you touch it, it's nice and warm. Almost 90 degrees. Uh, so we have a delta of, uh, this, if we want to have 65 in here, we actually have a delta of about 25 times 3,000. We have 75,000 BTUs of thermal energy in this window. Uh, so this should actually, you know, once the house gets all up to temperature, uh, gets sealed up, this should actually hold the house through the, most of the night if it's uh, 35 degrees or, or higher. Uh, any less than that, you might need some supplemental uh, heat source. So. so far, so good. All right, so it's uh, 9 o'clock at 9, 9 p.m., Saturday, October 24th. Uh, we showed you a little bit earlier about how this, what, what temperature this wall got up to over the course of the day. Uh, let's see where we're at at 9 o'clock. Okay, so we're registering a temperature of 80.9 degrees. You see that? Uh, so that wall's still pretty warm. It's dropped to uh, 8 or 9 degrees since we shot this at 4 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, we take our regular window, a regular uh, energy-style window. Uh, that window right there is 56.4 degrees, and we'll take the outside temperature here. Um, you hear what? Outside. Alright, so we're 39.9 degrees outside. What I am going to do is real quick, um, a lot of people comment that they think that this thing's going to lose a lot of heat outward. Uh, because of the special glazing, that's not the case. So I'm going to run outside, shoot the outside of this glass, see if I can make it back in before the, uh, the time the uh, temperature disappears off the, uh, off the scale. So, so the outside of that window was 44.4 uh, degrees. Um, that just so it just goes to show you that uh, most of the heat loss is coming into the building; it's not going out. Um, our uh, outside of our window temperature is a few degrees above the outside temperature. And uh, you can really feel the heat still radiating off these blocks when we put your hand up and they're nice and warm. Uh, so, right now, the temperature inside the house um, we're at uh, 59.5 degrees. Uh, no other heating source, still not sealed up. Uh, so, we're going to keep monitoring and uh, I'll do another one when we. Uh, have a nice sunny day, we'll do a little bit on cloudy day performance too.